Okay, boys and girls, sports fans everywhere, this is Den, JDOD. This is a really, really special show for you today because we have a very young gentleman here to my right called Nicola. And how are you, sir? Good. <laughs> You're good. Okay, that's great. And he is the youngest Demo Jam contestant ever, I should think, by some considerable margin because most of the other guys have got real grey hair like me, you know. Mm -hmm. Or really old, or what have we? And um, you're going to be doing some cool things tomorrow. So, tell us what it's about. What is it you're going to actually show us when you get on stage? Um, well, what we made is basically an iPhone app and a website. Right. So, it's called Food Agent. And what does it and do? The idea is, someone if someone wants to know like where their food came from. They can scan the barcode on it, since most food ha might, since most foods in the stores have barcodes, and then it shows them, like on the iPhone, or they can just search for it on the website. Mm -hmm. It shows them um, a map mm -hmm. w of where the food came from, and and on the map it also shows if there are any hazards, like nuclear plants or chemical spills nearby, so you would know if the if it's far away from the hazards, then you know you can eat it. Right. But if the apple or whatever it is is right next to a factory, then it would be unsafe. Okay, fine. John, just explain the background on this, please. So we had um, a challenge in the first LEGO League earlier this year. Uh, Nicola was part of the team, Germantown SAP Droids. Um, the LEGO League actually gives you the theme this year. This, this year was food safety, or I should say last year. So the team put together the application, the database behind it, um, and they went to the qualifier in Maryland State, and they took first place and advanced to the state finals with a, with a design. Mm. And what's the average age of the, of the team? Are they uh, mostly of um, this young chap's age, what, 10, 11 years old? So our, kind of yeah, our team's quite young. Uh, the, average, the, the age range is 9 through 14, right. but our age was mostly younger. They've just all started middle school. So we actually started together at elementary school when they were nine, and they, they took um, conference champions when they were nine years old as well. Which means he's, he, this guy's a super geek. Are you a super geek, do you reckon? Are you a super geek? Sure. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Okay, fine. And um, you, you, you've had to learn some different languages, so you know PHP, yeah? Mm, yes. And you know a bit of Java? Um, yeah. Okay. And that's helped you to do the SAP stuff, right? So this is SAP in the cloud, yeah? Yes. Last year we did PHP, and this year it's okay. um, Java. Which do you prefer? I think Java, since I mostly forgot PHP. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's reasonable as well. That's reasonable. Yeah. So, so, John, again, back to you. Just on the question of how you've moved them from learning relatively simple scripting languages through to something that's somewhat more complicated, how does that work? With Nicola, it was fairly simple because he has an active interest. Right. Uh, last year he was working on the iPhone application, mm. Uh, when we'd finished, he went home and came back the following week and said, I've started an Android application without right. any prompting from me. So he has just actively really into technologies. Right. Um, with the rest of the team, they've also they've followed through. Uh, Angelo, who's the other demo jam presenter this year, uh, he started working on um, Objective-C for the iPhone application. Um, and he's, he's coming along well, too. He actually has more of a design skills. His dad's a graphic designer. Right. So you can actually see in the application the user experience is showing. Right. Uh, his dad showed him how to use the Photoshop tools, and it looks really nice. Right. Nicola, have you ever been to a, a, a conference like this before where there's so many geeks? No? Well, if I don't think there were this many at the FLL uh, competition. Right, 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 right. So you know that there's going to be a lot of people there when you, when you demonstrate this thing, is that right? You know that? Yes. And that and doesn't bother you in the slightest? Doesn't oh, it worry does. you? It does, does it? <laughs> Okay, I'm sure that John and the other guys will look after you real well. So, but congratulations! I mean, it's a stunning thing. Listen, I've got I've got kids that are grandchildren, right, who are about the same age as you. Can I tell you something about my own my own son? He taught me how to use social media about five years ago because I had no idea. He taught me how to use Facebook. So, you're gonna, are you going to be teaching the next generation of coders? Do you think in a few years' time? What do you think? It's possible. Yes, it is. Okay. Probably. Okay. Thanks very much indeed. Thanks, everybody. You heard it first here.